Um, I've spoken to parents, I've spoken to school principals who are very concerned about some of these changes. Um, Tucker Road Primary School, Deputy Speaker, for example, is going to lose $300,000 less uh, over 10 years. Uh, Volkstone Primary School is going to lose $300,000. Coatesville Primary School, I host my uh, school leadership wards there every year, is going to lose between $300,000 and $400,000. Westall Secondary College, Deputy Speaker, uh, an extraordinary school that has educated generations of migrants who were living in the Westall Hostel just across the road is going to lose $400,000. Uh, it's outrageous, Deputy Speaker. I wish I could take you to this school and just show you that these kids have got so much get up and go and they are so keen to succeed in life. Um, but a lot of them come from rather difficult backgrounds and they do need that extra support. And here we are standing in this house trying to argue against the Liberals um, who want to take it away from them. Um, Oakley South Primary School, I was at their school fate a couple of weeks ago, will lose between $400,000 to $500,000 under the proposals. Cheltenham Secondary College will lose $600,000. The list goes on and on. Bentley Secondary College, a fantastic school, um, a school that's recently had a principal of the year, a Victorian principal of the year, will lose $700,000. And I'll just pick on one more school deputy speaker, Keysborough Secondary College. Uh, an amazing school. Um, they've just opened a new STEM facility down there, um, and they are going to lose $1.6 million. This is a regional secondary school educating some of the most disadvantaged students in the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne, and under this proposal, they'll lose $1.6 million. It's absolutely outrageous.